Hi, and welcome to Girl Talk. We have a wonderful show for you today. We are here at Superior Heating and Air Conditioning with Dave Miller, very adorable young man who owns this. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, thank we had you. to browbeat him on this morning, which is great. And Ronnie, say your last name for me. The Welsh name is lovely. It's Greenhalgh. And she does a lot of the outreach for Superior, and our own Erin Lenz is here Hi, today. Debbie. This is the first time we've been here. I'm really excited about it. We've already in the past, what, 30 minutes that we've been here really gotten an education about heating and air conditioning and it's funny because Erin and I were non-stop asking questions which tells me that if we have this many questions you might just get an earful every single day. Let's talk a little bit, I'm going to start with you Ronnie if I can, about the air conditioning, heating and air conditioning business. It'll probably be easier for you to pitch him than him to pitch himself. Okay, um, about our business? Sure, absolutely. Okay. We've been in business since 1999. Okay. Um, we started, actually Dave started the business and he can tell you a little bit more about mm -hmm. that. But um, it kind of grew from there, started off with one truck and one man to two men to continue on to that process and here we are almost 20 years later. Well, it's funny for me because my husband's been a home inspector and a, and a builder for 100,000 years and Superior, I mean, he loves you guys. <laughs> and, it's, and, and it's just funny, you've got an amazing reputation. And I'd like to know a little bit from you about how you got started in this business because it's pretty interesting. Yeah, well, basically, um, side of college wasn't the, the way to go. and. Uh, my dad being a builder kind of put me into a contracting trade of some sort. Wow. And so uh, heating and air seemed to be the way to go because everybody's going to need it. Mm -hmm. And so just kind of started taking the licensing and things like that. Well, it's kind of cool. We were talking about um, what our kids are doing, right? Mm -hmm. And you say, really, there's a shortage. It's a technical field. You have to really know what you're doing. Absolutely. There is a, a huge shortage right now of uh, new techs coming uh -huh. into, the, into the field, and we need to somehow get more young people interested and in, in let them know that there's money to be made here and that they can have a career and it's exactly. not a job. Your what? techs are very highly trained. We, I recently had them come out um, for servicing and I was shocked <laughs> at how detailed, I got a detailed report that was like, you know, a dissertation basically. Right, exactly. Um, he spent so much time and he really knew what he was doing. Very knowledgeable. We I was like very impressed. <laughs> we like to hear that. For you two, what's the scoop on, a on HVAC? What's new in technology? What should I expect? I, we got all the questions. How long do air conditionings last? What about <laughs> set it and, and can I go up and down? I was the telling settings you. are the biggest thing. Oh my gosh. Especially here, one day it's winter, the next day it's summer. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do we do? Because we want to conserve in our bill. We don't want it to be gouging us at the end of the month. Are there tips? I think the least expensive thing that you can do to start with is a programmable thermostat. A programmable thermostat. Um, what does that mean? It programmable thermostat. Out. I know. <laughs> right. It sounds like, it sounds like a good it's thing. It's a smarter thermostat. Um, a lot Look of them are... Look at us lean in. We're like, no. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us more. <laughs> um, it is Wi-Fi capable. It, oh, you can cool. change it from your phone. You can reset the programming from your phone. Um, because there are so many changes during the day, we can program it and set it what we think is going to be for winter. And a lot of times, as you know, in our industry or in our area, you have heat in the morning, AC mm -hmm. in the afternoon, and then heat in the evening. Yeah, so true. to be able to to be able to see that and make those adjustments mobily, um, if you have kids that are coming home mm -hmm. from school and you know things have changed or there's pets in the house and it was really cold this morning but now it's really hot, you can go in there and make those changes and you can just that's what I do. So it's not running all the time, right? Let me ask you a question: Do you meet your clientele? Like, if you come to my house, do you talk to Aaron and I? Like, tell me about your lifestyle. Do you like it warm? Do you like it cool? Are you going, having hot flashes at night? I mean, Absolutely. I mean, do you kind of ask people what's yes, going on? Yes, for for a bunch of reasons. You know, the main reason is we want to uh, design a system around your particular lifestyle because there's a lot of different ways you can go. And second, you know, we're not saying anything new, you know, air conditioning is expensive. Okay, so right. if you're going to spend a lot of money, you want it the way you want it. You want it right. So we ask all those questions. What are your concerns? You know, is noise an issue? Is warranty an issue? Is, is energy efficiency uh, uh, an issue? So your answers, uh, whether you know it or not, are in our head designing <clears throat> what we're going to offer you. Now, obviously, we can go back and forth after that, but it gives us an idea of what you may want. We're going to take a real quick break sure. and stay, will you guys stay with us and we'll talk again because there's a lot more we want to talk about about the HVAC system. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Girl Talk. Girl Talk is brought to you by Custom Audio Video, the Westin Resort and Spa, Buford Memorial Hospital, 
and by New River Auto Mall. Please support these local businesses as they make this program possible.